Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. This is your Manchester United latest transfer news and there has been some developments around this striking niche issue. Addison Cavani heavily linked with Manchester United today. Uh, we know we need a striker. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer has said that they're going to look at loan options. Marcus Rashford could be out till as far as April. That's the latest with him. Robin Van Persie's come out and said had a similar injury. United are going to have to let him rest and he was out for four months. So this is a significant injury. It's going to go way into April potentially. I don't think we should be rushing him back. I do, I, what, one thing I think Manchester United should be rushing to do is bring in a replacement. But is Edison Cavani the, the right player to do? We've also got an update on Baba Kari Samari, uh, Bruno Fernandes, very interesting updates on them. But let's start off with Cavani. Look, for me, I'm going to be straight honest, people will know I'm not a fan of Cavani. Um, and I think it's very irresponsible. And, you know, who am I to speak about that? I, it's, it's opinions, isn't it? But when some of the opinions are out there saying, oh, Cavani's the right player to go and get, I really think he'll score goals for us. It's just, I think it sort of puts out a story that's just... You know, it's fantasy. It belongs in a red, little Red Riding Hood. It's like Edison Cavani coming to Manchester United and solving our striking problems. I'm sorry, I, I don't think the evidence is there, and the evidence is not that far to far hide. I never wanted Cavani three years ago, um, but and I certainly don't want him now. I think he's been stat padding in a farmers league. I don't rate the French league that much, if I'm totally honest with you. I think beyond two teams, it, it's awful. And he's 33 next in a couple of weeks. In, in February, he's 33. He's never played in the Premier League before. He's had four separate injuries in the last five months and we're going to go and bring Cavani in who's on €200,000 a week at PSG. We're going to get Cavani to come to Manchester United after four injuries in the last five months who's 33 in a couple of weeks who's never played in the Premier League who's ridiculously expensive and he's going to solve our problems. And on top of that, Cavani is a goal scorer. How many chances do we create for our goal scorers? We don't. So Cavani ticks no box for me at Manchester United. He needs chances, which we don't create. He's too old. He's injury prone. He's expensive. I just don't see how people can, with their mouth, say Cavani's the right player to go for. It's just desperation. And it doesn't fit in with what Manchester United are meant to be doing either. We should not be papering the cracks with more thin paper about we're meant to be building for a future. So we're going to go and buy a player and we're going to get burdened with another Alexis Sanchez. In a worse situation, at least with Sanchez, we bought him in his late 20s. Cavani were buying at 33. And... Anybody who thinks we're getting him on loan, he has handed a transfer request in at PSG. That's what's been said this morning. But PSG want money for him in January. He's out of contract in the summer. They don't want to get let him go on loan because then he's, he goes for free in the summer. If he's going to go, he's going to go in the summer. And if he's going to go now, they want money for him. So he's not a loan because he's out of contract. People think this about uh, Mertens at Napoli as well. I mentioned him on the show this morning. They're not available for loan. They can be spoken to now about coming in the summer. But if you want them now, it's like Sanchez. You've got to pay some money for it. So not only is Cavani, I think, a bad decision, you'd also have to pay money for him as well. So don't get where this is at. And he's expensive. And I doubt he's, he's never played in the Premier League before. So I'm sorry. I, I'm team not get Cavani. I think the injury record, the age, the fact that he's not a player that creates goals on, him, on off his own back. He's a goal scorer and we don't create enough chances for strikers. I just think it would be an expensive burden. And also, to get him, you've got to buy him. You can't loan him. So you buy him. He's not here to, in the summer. He's here for another couple of years. So you burden yourself with this player for the next two to three years on €200,000 a, a week. I just Again, I just think people... You're almost as bad as Woodward. Like some of these solutions in my mind are almost as bad as Woodward. We've got to think... We've got to be cleverer than that. We've got to... Look, I was speaking to somebody this morning and I said, look, we... We've got. I'm. I'm happy to accept. Well, I'm not happy, but I accept it's going to take time for United to get back to where they need to be. We're not going to have a quick fix. It's not going to happen in the next year or two. We're going to take years to get back to where we need be, need to be. So the decisions we make have got to be right. We do need to go in the January transfer market and get a striker. That's absolutely necessity, right? We've got to do it. But signing Cavani on a long-term contract, because that's what it would have to be. Who is 33 in a couple of weeks? And I think past it, and injury prone, and expensive. How does how is that not anything other than a plaster on an open wound? It's not. It's not. It's not the right thing. It needs stitching. It needs time. And that is not the signing to do for me. We do need a striker though. The way to get a striker is to spend money. And I don't. As I said before, I don't think Manchester United have got any money. The player I'd be going for is Mr. Dembele from Lyon. Uh, that's a player that Chelsea want, that we've been linked to. He's in his early 20s. He's played in Celtic for Celtic, but he's played for Fulham. He's got development in him. 
Uh, I'm not saying he's anywhere near as good as a Rashford or Martial, but he's a player that can come in and do a job for us and develop and be here for years to come and be part of a future vision. I doubt Leon are going to sell him in January though, and this is the problem we, we've left ourselves with. The January transfer market is not impossible, it's a myth. But if you're going to do it, you've got to pay the money. And that's the issue. So, and, and as I said, with Cavani, you're not getting him on loan anyway. Like, PSG want money for him if he's going in January. If not, he goes in the summer. So that's not the solution. I think it's a, I personally think it's a very flawed solution. But, you know, some of you might think, well, he's great. And, you know, if we did get him, I hope he does come in and score 10 goals between now and, and May. But you're still going to burden yourself with him beyond then. You're not, I don't think you're going to get him on loan at all. I really don't think so. I doubt we can get Musa Dembele. So I go back to what I said this morning. Erling Haaland was the biggest screw up ever. And what, what, what frustrates me the most about Erling Haaland is, we would have known that Rashford was carrying the, the injury in his ankle, the loose bone. We would have known that he had the stress fracture in the back. And we still decided not to go and get Erling Haaland and continue to basically destroy Marcus Rashford. He's 22 years of age and we've played him non-stop for 18 months to try and keep people in jobs. And, and I don't just mean Ollie there. I mean people like Woodward and everything like that. He has been used, overused, and now, you know, the trouble with the back injury, like Van Persie said... He may well have that for the rest of his life. He can manage it, but he'll always have that pain. Van Persie said he always felt a, a weakness in that area. He's 22. We've overplayed him and we've caused that. God knows what else he's going to have. I think the way the way we've used Rashford, he could be finished by the, by his late 20s because he's just overused and he's a very energetic player, isn't he? But um, let's talk about Bruno Fernandes as well. Bit of an update on him. So the roundup from the Portuguese papers this morning. Obviously, if you want to check out Transfer Daily this morning, we were talking about Bruno and... It's gone quiet. It has gone quiet. And it's gone pretty much how the British press predicted over the weekend. Talks are ongoing. There is a... Um, and a, Everybody wants to get the deal done, but there is an impasse in relation to the fee. Now, Record, Ojogo are saying that Sporting Lisbon are very firm. They want 60 million euros plus 10 million in, in add-ons, right? Um, one of the other outlets, uh, Ebola, I think it is, they're saying it's 65 million euros plus 5 million add-ons. Um, apparently Manchester United offered 50 million euros. So 50 million euros is about 43 million, which is what we'd heard. 60 million euros is about 50 million. So, I mean, I've said this, I said this the morning on Twitter. I think Fred's a good player, but two years ago we spent 50 million pounds on Fred. All right, he was in the Brazil squad, but he was playing for Shakhtar the next. And he's a defensive midfielder. We paid 50 million pounds two years ago. Two years later, we won't pay 50 million pounds for Bruno Fernandes, who's got amazing stats. Like, it does, there's not even a logic to this. I don't even care what about United fans saying we can't be held to ransom. It's not even logical not to pay 60 million euros, which is 50 million pounds for this player. I've got no sympathy for Manchester United. He is worth that money. He's probably worth more. And I, you know, I want to get this player, but I've got no issue with Sporting Lisbon saying we want 60 million euros and, and, and you take it or leave it. Why, what, you know, why should they get undersold for a player who is any day of the week worth 50 to 55 million pounds into this market so we'll see what happens it seems to have gone quiet United are just doing what United do sucking the last drop of joy out of any potential deal but hopefully we'll get that done the issue for me is that I think without Rashford Burnley becomes a tougher game than it should be so why would you not be why would you not be this deal should have been done it should have been done before Liverpool. It definitely should have been done today because Bruno Fernandes in for Burnley potentially gets us three points. Without Bruno Fernandes, yeah, maybe we will get it, but I think it's a tougher game without Rashford and without Bruno Fernandes. So, and they've got a game tomorrow night, so let's wait and see what happens with that. But Babakari Samari, who is a player that Sky have said will leave Lille at the end of the month, he's going to go to Chelsea, he's going to go to Manchester United. Well, he's been speaking over the weekend and he has said that at this moment in time, uh, he doesn't see myself leaving and it's not the time to be going. Um, he's got to establish himself in the Lille side. They're building towards something this season. It's not something that he's looking to do. And that's the second time that he's sort of said that. So I don't really feel that that deal is going to happen. And also... I think we're getting to that point now with Manchester United. A week on Friday, the transfer window closes. We've not even done Bruno Fernandes. It doesn't look like we're that close to getting Bruno Fernandes done. So how are we going to go and do another deal? I think we need to actually accept we're not doing any other business in January. Unless we pull out this amazing loan deal, how are United going to do another deal 
when they've not even got Bruno done, and we always know it takes United three, four, five weeks to do a deal. So I don't think there will be another deal, and I don't think that Samari uh, story is really going to grab uh, anybody's excitement or attention at all either. Um, Timo Werner, build, quite reliable. Build were the persons who said that uh, Haaland was going to go to Dortmund way before we were even in, in for him, so they were very accurate on that. They're saying that Timo Werner wants to go to Liverpool. I mean, <laughs> I'd love Timo Werner to come to Manchester United. I'd, I'd put him on every FIFA career mode I do. Can you knock players now for looking at United and going, yeah, I don't want to go there? So that's... That's great. Um, and also, there was this story over the weekend about Campo, the Lille sporting director, hashtag uh, director of football. Um, there was some British press talking about this yesterday. United want Campo as director of football. A lot of people on social media were saying this is just typical United. Leak a story about director of football again because they're under pressure. French reports coming out today saying that Lille, Campo's going nowhere. There's not even been any contact from Manchester United and he's not going nowhere. So... Everybody on the weekend, it feels like they were right, saying that, look, this is United again, tired, same sort of information being put out into the press about we're going to do this, we're going to do that. We've been get a, getting a direct football for two years and we've not had, we've, we still haven't got one. So maybe it was just a bit of, uh, a, bit of a story to try and uh, appease fans who, I, I tell you what, I think, I think that's gone, hasn't it? I think that's gone now. I don't think uh, there are any United fans anymore who believe any story about any player or any director of football, or any plans to spend hundreds of millions, because when you've been through those situations so many times, and remember last summer, oh, we've got the money there, we all expected to spend at least 200 million, we spent 60 million net, we've, we've experienced this, we, we've lost games and we're getting bailed the next day, it's the same story, I think people are tired of it now, the amount of United fans are just tired of the same rubbish coming out about the club, and about the signings we're going to make. And and it's sad. It is very sad what's happened. And um, I think the the wake-up call for me in relation to Manchester United from the Liverpool game is that we have this scenario now where um, I just think so many fans are fed up. So many fans are uncertain and disappointed. To me, as I've always said, I think we're six years away from winning a title, and that's if we start properly today. But I, you know, we're gonna we've got a call in tonight at eight o'clock, so we'll be taking some of your calls on this. But I, I agree with a lot of what Gary Neville said. We'll be picking up on that as well. I think these people need to talk out more publicly about it. Uh, I mean, basically saying how is Woodward still in a job? Correct. Um, I, 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 for a bit, I always had a bit of guilt about this because it's like United Stand is a big platform, but I think it's a platform that you've got to use. You've got to use it. And Gary Neville's got a huge Twitter following and he's a very respected pundit. And, you know, I know there's an element of guilt because you're a United fan and you don't want to speak badly about your club. But I see Manchester United Football Club, my club, as you, the fans, and the shirts and the history. I don't see United as having to be nice to the Glazers or Woodward or the management, or the medical staff, when they're part of the problem. So... Um, yeah, I think people do need to speak out more because hopefully, eventually, they'll start to listen because changes are needed at that club. Unfortunately, the owners will never sack Woodward because they're happy with him and you see what they're doing with their American franchise football team and it's the same old thing. It's just about taking the money out. I don't think United have got any money. I don't think United have got any money. I think they've probably got about £40 million. 40 to 50 million, which they'll spend on Bruno, but they'll be getting it back from Pogba's sale in the summer. Um, I don't think there is money. I think the money all, all, there is loads of money. We make loads of money, but I think it all just goes out of the club. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Smash a like on the video. Get your comments in below. Cavani, have I got it wrong? Have I got it right? What would you be looking at? Fernandez, do you feel there's any possibility that it will be in for Burnley? Um, Samari, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that maybe that deal could be done or do you think it's just paper talk? Director of football as well. I'll speak to you live at 8 o'clock. Thanks for watching.